Hi, I'm Jerry Tukoski from Vimico and congratulations for making that decision to kickstart your video marketing to grow your business. I'm so excited to be able to share with you my tips and ideas that's going to help you to create a promotional video that you'll be able to put up on your website, on YouTube or Facebook that's going to help you to attract your ideal customer and build that relationship with them. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the virtues of video marketing because I've got a suspicion you know all about it already. But video is such a powerful way to really engage with your target audience that it's an absolute must for any business today. Now, this video series comes in three parts. Now, part one is about video marketing strategy, which we'll talk about today and the importance of having a very clear objective with each video you ever make. Now, part two is about video production. We'll look at the equipment that you need to create a video, and I'll show you some templates that you can use that just makes it so much easier to make a video, have it edited, and put online there like that. Now, part three is about video SEO, or search engine optimization. And that's so important because you need to get your video discovered by your target audience. I mean, there's no point putting a video out there and no one watches it. So they're the, the three parts of the series. I, I'm absolutely certain you'll get so much out of this video series. And I'll be looking forward to watching your videos that you'll make after this series. So let's get straight into today's topic, which is video marketing strategy. Okay, everything I'm going to show you in the next three videos works. It works for me and it will work for you. Now let's just have a look at an example. Let's have a look at YouTube. Let's have a look at uh, Talking Head video. Okay, right at the top of YouTube for Talking Head video, we've had 1,360,000 results. And number one is create effective talking head videos. This is one of my videos. Uh, it's been around for around 11 months. It's had over 5,000 views and it ranks above other videos with more views. This has got 13,000, 29, and 700,000 views. Eventually, this video will also have a lot of views because it's ranked number one on YouTube. Now let's have a look at Google. Let's look at the same again, talking head. Okay, in Google it's ranked number two. Create effective talking head videos, number two in Google. Again, this video in a short time will have a lot more views than it has now because they are slowly moved up to the top all organically by following the sort of rules and tips I'm going to show you over the next three videos. Your video can also rank number one for both Google and YouTube and you'll get your views. And your website address will be right there in front of them. They don't even have to look at your video to go straight to your website. Right, now before we get into the strategy, I will share with you my story, just in case you don't know too much about me. This is me. Yes, I am a Capricorn, if that means anything to you. Uh, I was born in old Sydney town many years ago, and if you were to ask someone to describe me as a child, they would probably say that I was a very shy and introverted kid. Now, that made it very difficult for me, especially as we moved around a lot. My father was an international chef, and we followed him around the world. So I went to many different schools, including uh, in Paris. I went to schools in New York, and even spent a few years in Hawaii as well. And as I started growing up, I wanted to really break the shackles of being shy and introverted. And so I decided to become an actor. And that's what I did. I studied three years at one of the top drama schools in Australia, and I started many, many television programs over the years, playing a various amount of roles. Really loved my work in front of the camera, but also worked behind the cameras. And this is where I won 
a, an award at the prestigious Tropfest Film Festival in Sydney for Best Mobile Movie, and I really enjoyed working behind the cameras as well. Uh, this led me to want to pursue and help other people who were found it very difficult to present in front of uh, an audience. So I wrote a book called Power Performance, and I trained people in their presentation and public speaking skills. I became very interested in communications, particularly marketing communications, and I studied marketing and worked in marketing for well over a decade, and I won some awards, including this particular award from the Australian Marketing Institute for my work in branding. Uh, that led me to want to start my own business, Vimico, which is Video Marketing Communications. And my mission is to help businesses attract and engage with their audiences to build their communities. And that pretty well sums up what my, my passion is in life at the moment. My other passion, of course, is my family, my lovely wife and my lovely two boys. And uh, there we are in uh, Sydney's northern beaches, just enjoying the lifestyle that Vimico has been able to, to give me. Okay, let's get straight into it then. And strategy today, we are going to talk about your video's objective. We're going to look at targeting your audience. We're going to look at selecting relevant topics for your videos and how to use a template, which I'll share with you, which is fabulous to get your videos in order, well-structured and effective with your right audience. So let's go right into your video objectives. Now, your objective may be to increase your brand awareness, particularly if you're a new business. Uh, it may be to position yourself as an authority in your niche. Your objective might be to build your email list, which, which is such a valuable uh, and priceless resource for your business. It might be to drive traffic to your website. It may be to show benefits of your offer, convert leads into sales, or to repeat sales from existing customers. Now, I'm sure many of you will hope to have all these objectives in your one video. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You need to have one clear objective for each of, of your videos. No doubt it will do other things, but really to be effective, one objective per video. Once you have your objective, then you can target your audience. You need to identify who is going to help you achieve your objective. Now by that, I mean that if you want to increase your brand awareness, then you need to target new viewers, obviously, not your old ones. But if you want to turn leads into customers, then you need to target your existing database. So be very specific who you are targeting by creating an audience persona. In marketing, we normally use the term buyer persona. When you think of buyer persona, you think of selling, right? Buying, selling. But I want you to call your target audience audience persona. Because when you think of audience, then you think of sharing a story. And that's how you need to approach it to be successful in your videos. Create an image of your ideal customer and constantly refer back to it when you're creating a video. So when you build or create your image of your ideal customer, think of you know, their gender, think of the age, think of where they're located, think of their interests, think of their values, their beliefs, think of what is important for them, and you know, map out that person, put it on your, on your desk, and whenever you're creating that video, constantly refer back to that audience persona. Does this make sense to them? If it doesn't make sense to them, throw it out. You also need to know what is their problem? What is keeping them up late at night? Because their problem becomes your content. Your video will solve their problem. That is how you attract your target audience. 
Now you can use Google AdWords to find out what they're searching for online. Now just Google up Google AdWord Planner. You'll find it right at the top of the page. And go to the tools, just register, it's free registration. Go to the tools and just type in there your niche. Now I'm gonna use an example, swimming pools. So I am a swimming pool owner. And just click on ideas. And what comes up here, a number of keywords and the number of searches on average that turn up each month. So you really wanna look for those keywords that are being searched the most. You might see here above ground swimming pools comes up around 117,000 times each month. Swimming pool covers has 147 searches each month. Uh, swimming pool pumps has 179,000 searches each month. So look for those big keywords that your target audience are searching for. You can also go to YouTube and put some of those keywords in, type it up. Now as you type it up, you'll see suggestions there. That these suggestions are people who are typing in these keywords. Uh, just look through there and see the videos that are up there now and see if there are any gaps that you can fit in with your videos. Or in fact, can you make a better video, more effective video than what's out there now? Once you have a list of all your topics, uh, for example, I could do how-to videos such as pool maintenance videos. I could do topical new industry news such as government regulations regarding, say, fence pools. Uh, you could do reviews of latest products such as pumps and pool covers, which we know are very popular with search results. We could do videos that entertain. So throw in your GoPro video camera in the pool and have a splash around and get some spectacular visual images. You could also do behind the scenes, you know, preparing for a pool party, for example. So get a list of all the different topics you could cover in your niche. And then get out a calendar and spread those videos throughout the year. Now, you may be seasonal, you maybe have a seasonal business, so you want more videos during a particular part of the year and less during the off season. But have a calendar 12 months and plot out the different videos you'll have during the year. Now you can produce these videos as you go along or you could create all these videos in one day and have them ready to be released over the course of the year. You don't want to release you know, a dozen videos all at once. You want to spread it out so that you always have fresh content on your YouTube channel or your Facebook or your website. Okay, now it's time to talk about a video template that you can use to promote your business on YouTube, on Facebook, and on your website. Follow this and you'll increase the chances of success. Absolutely. Let's have a look at now. There are 10 steps you need to follow. Step number one, hook your viewers from the start. Number two is to establish yourself as an expert. Number three, highlight your viewers' problem. Step four is introduce your solution. Step five, show the benefits. Step six, use social proof. Step seven, offer a bonus. Step eight, add scarcity. Step nine, reverse the risk. And step 10, tell your viewers what to do next. Okay, so there's the 10 steps and we're just about to go into detail of each step. Let's start at number one, hook your audience. In the first five seconds, you need to tell the viewer what to expect or what they will learn. You can use bold statements, surprising claims or questions. Whatever you do, you must really capture the attention of, all, of your audience because it doesn't matter how great the rest of your video is. If you don't capture them in the first five seconds, they're gone. For example, you could 
ask a question like, are you struggling to keep your above ground pool clean all year round? In this video, you are going to learn the three simple steps I use to maintain a crystal clear pool during the summer and winter. So by having that statement there, I'm actually qualifying my audience. Now, if the audience don't have a swimming pool, if this doesn't mean anything to them, they'll go away and that's fine. But if you do have a pool and you do have a problem with your pool, this will resonate with you and you will want to watch the rest of the video. Number two, you are the expert. You need to establish who you are and why they should listen to you. If you cannot establish yourself as the expert, they will not listen to you and they will go away. Now, being an expert is relative to your audience. Now, by that I mean as long as you know more than your audience, then you are an expert in their eyes. There will always be other people who know more than you. But that's irrelevant. That's not your audience. Your audience are people who want to learn from you what you know. You are the expert to your audience. So show them results that you have already achieved. What can you show them to let them know you are an expert? Hi, I'm Jerry Tukoski, a top rated video marketing expert, and I've helped thousands of people just like you to create effective videos that will help their business grow. And today I'm going to show you a template that you can use right now. Okay, number three, highlight their problem. So ask a question that elicits a response or forces your viewer to reflect on his or her own situation. This question will stimulate either curiosity or self-doubt adding to the build up to your solution. In other words, what we're doing is agitating that problem, we're really highlighting it so they want a solution from you. For example, do you ever have friends and their kids turn up at your home but you can't invite them for a swim because the pool is full of green algae? Now, if this is true, if they can resonate with that, then they want a solution to this problem. Which leads us to step number four, introduce the solution. This is the core of your video. Tell your viewers what it is they came for and make it as simple as possible. Consider breaking this down into a step-by-step -step format so it is digestible and easy to understand and remember. For example, I'll show you a quick and simple way to keep your pool sparkling clean using our new product, Crystal Clear. Okay, step number five, show the benefits. So focus on the benefits of your product or service for the viewer rather than the features. Forget features, benefits. How does your product or service benefit your customer? Make full use of visuals to demonstrate how your product works. Remember, this is video. Video is visual. Visual is highly effective. So use as much visuals as possible. Number six, social proof. Use video testimonials. Get in contact with your customers. If they're happy with your product or service, Ask them to put a testimonial using their smartphone and send it to you so you have a testimonial of your happy customers. Simple. Review case studies for B2B customers. Use generated videos. Ask your happy customers, send videos of them using your product or services. That's gold. It is far more effective to have customers talking about your product rather than you. Show typical results with similar buyers. List past clients that have used your product. Show the number of sales or customers you have. 
I mean, this is very, this is very impressive. This is very good social proof. If your potential customer knows that thousands of other customers have purchased your product and they're happy with it. Number seven, bonus offer. Now, you don't have to offer a bonus, but it works extremely well. It could be a bonus free gift that is somehow related to your offer. It could be a discount, a percentage or a dollar amount off. For, in, for instance, you know, 10% off or $10 off the amount of the total price. You could double the warranty or the service period of the product. You could do a buy one, get one free, a free upgrade, free training, free delivery. These are all different ways of getting that person over the line to purchase your product. Now, you can, number eight is add scarcity. Okay, what is scarcity? Okay, limited products available. Okay, buy now before we run out of stock. Okay, get action. Get them moving now, not waiting later. You could offer a bonus for the first 50 buyers. At the end of this webinar, the first 50 buyers will receive this free gift. Okay, get them moving. Door or cart closes on a set date. For example, this offer ends Saturday 12 p.m. Okay, so have a date to get them moving. Now, word warning, once you do set a date, make sure you stick with it or else you will lose credibility. Step number nine, reverse the risk. Offer a 100% money back guarantee, no questions asked. Okay, at the moment, people will feel a sense of risk buying from you if they've never purchased from you before. So just reverse it. You take the risk. Now, some people may abuse it, but I guarantee you, you'll get more sales if you've got a 100% money back guarantee. Finally, number 10, tell your viewers what to do next. Add and emphasize your call to action here. Let them know as quickly as possible and as in a few steps as possible how to get your product or service. Insert a link below the video or ask them to visit your website or your shop. Now, the more complicated it sounds, the less likely they'll go through the hassle of buying your product. All right, we've gone through a lot in this little training session. We've talked about the importance of having one clear video objective, which will then help you to target your audience. And then you need to look at what sort of video topic will attract your audience and how to use the video template I've just presented to you. Now, if you want to carry on with this conversation, you can join us at a new Facebook group called Kickstart Your Video Marketing. It's a great little community where you will meet many people doing the same course as you, and it's a great way to share ideas and keep learning from other people. Uh, so join us there at Kickstart Video Marketing, a new Facebook group. Looking forward to seeing you there. I certainly will be there and uh, I'm happy to have a, a chat with you and to answer some of your questions. Right, that's it for me. Just remember your next video, video production is on its way. So look out for that and uh, it's going to be very hands-on and I'm sure you'll get a lot of good things from that video. My name is Jerry Tikoski. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.